If you great, they gon' hate. Ha! Yeah! What's good, PB gang? It's your boy Poppy Blasted coming at y'all with another video. And this video right here, man, a lot of you guys was asking. I was asking, man, Poppy Blasted, how do I brush, how do I, I know how to brush my 360 waves, but how do I comb my 360 waves? And I figure, why not? You know what I'm saying? Since I just got out the gym, my hair just, to be honest, bro, my hair hella frizzy, bro. This is how my hair looks, I'm gonna show y'all when I get out the gym when you don't wear a do rag. You know what I'm saying? But I work from home, I got a gym, in home gym as well and all that, that I invested into. So sometimes I get comfortable and don't put my do rag on in the gym. It's rare though. Normally I always have my do rag on in the gym because you wanna make sure, especially if you're a course or a waiver, make sure you better wear make sure you better wear your do rag while you in that damn gym, bro. Because if not, your hair will look like this. I'm gonna show you in a minute. Anyways, man, you guys are asking about how do I comb? How do I, you showed me how to brush my 360 ways? How do I comb my 360 ways? Do a comb with me. So this is kind of like a comb with me, showing you guys the importance of combing too. Like what's the benefits of it? You know what I mean? It's definitely benefit, beneficial for sure. Um, I don't comb every day. I comb. I wash twice a week, and I comb every time I wash. Um, but for the people who's trying to really progress, I recommend that you comb at least four to five times a week. You know what I'm saying? Comb every day if you can. But see, the thing about combing is, and when you're woofing, when you're lifting your hair up, especially if you're a coarse hair waver and you're combing your hair, it's going to be hard to lay your hair back down if it's not trained. But it's okay, because at the end of the day, under under that, um, under that, like, basically, like, you know how you got levels. You know what I'm saying? You got, like, depending on how long your hair is, you got stupid levels. So maybe if you're hella woofing, you got the fourth level. So that's like a, the last level, basically, like this. Last level is like right here at the top of your head, right? Under that, which is the first level, like near your scalp, is where you're gonna cut to. You feel me? So at the end of the day, you're still progressing. You might not see it because it's at the top of the level of your hair, but once you get that haircut, you're gonna see it. So it's beneficial, is what I'm saying, to comb your hair all the time because it don't really matter, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna progress anyways under there. And it's gonna be hard to lay it down, but it's fine. It might look crazy, like how my shelf look right now. But it's crazy, it's fine though, because eventually your hair is going to progress. You're gonna progress, which means you're gonna break forks, you know what I'm saying? You're going to move forks, you know what I'm saying? Forks is hard to move and break, because there's two ways you could, you know, get rid of the forks. You could break them, and you can move them, you know what I'm saying? You can either move them down to the hairline, and eventually, past your hairline, it's gonna be out of there or you could break it, because the fork is like this. The goal is to break it so it could be like this, so it could connect with the rest of your waves. That's why forks kind of make your hair look messed up, you feel me? So let's get started, man. So right now, <clears throat> let's get out of the gym. This is how my hair looks when I get out the gym without wearing a do-rag. This is why it is important, bro. I tell you, PB guys, is important. Wear your do-rag while you're in the gym, because your hair is going to get frizzy. It's going to look crazy like this. So. This is how my hair look when I'm at the gym and I don't, when I do not wear a do-rag. It look crazy, right? And remind you, this is like earlier I went to the gym and then I just been chilling, doing stuff around the house, all that. So, you know, this is probably about like an hour or two after the gym. My hair didn't dry already and all that. So, oh man, where your do-rag in the gym? Now, if you got that curly, good hair, you know what I'm saying? Maybe maybe you don't got to wear Maybe you don't got to wear a do-rag in the gym. But, hey, I recommend everybody wear that do-rag while you're in the gym. All right? Anyway, so, first off, I always start from back here when I comb, right? I start from back here. When I comb, I comb pretty fast. I ain't going to lie. I comb pretty fast. But, I, basically, I start from the back and go to the right. So, the same way how I brush, same, um... Same direction and all that, you know what I mean? You just go with the flow, you know? Go with the flow. Now obviously your pattern might be different from mine. You might not have 360s, you might have 540s. So basically you wanna comb with the grain of your wave pattern, whatever it is. You might have 720s, you know what I mean? I don't know what kind of pattern you got, but you definitely wanna comb it out. And right now I'm woofing. People ask, how PB, how long you woofing? I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know, I don't count no more. I'm too busy to count my woofs. I just, I just woof until I can't, until my hair feel like, I woof until I feel like cutting it. Like, I'm like, okay, I had enough, it's too long, it's time to cut. 
know what I'm saying? But I'm always woofing, bro. I promise you. I only get about, I say about three to four cuts a year. Three to four haircuts. I'm talking about like, I get shape ups every two to three weeks. Shape ups, meaning like just shaping up the side, cleaning it up, getting the line up. But as far as cutting my hair, I don't cut my hair until about maybe like three, four times a month. For real. I mean, a, a year, a year, a month, a year. Three or four times a year. So that's like what? Three or uh, four, eight. That's like every three months. Three, six, nine, 12, yeah. Every three months. So that's crazy. You can say you only cut your hair four times a year, bro. Like, that, that's crazy, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, man. I've been, I've been tapping in with y'all, man. Y'all tap in right now. I've been tapping in with y'all, PB Gang, man. I've been seeing y'all comment. I appreciate y'all, man. Commenting. I'm talking to y'all. That's what I'm talking about, man. It's all love, bro. For real. It's all love. It's all love. I love helping y'all, man. I miss I miss helping y'all, to be honest. You know what I mean? Let me get this crown right real fast. I could turn it around. But I miss talking to y'all, bro. I miss, you know, doing these videos for y'all. I'm excited every time I pick up the camera and, and get in, in the bathroom, I'm like, man, I gotta do it. I'm making this a priority, man. I'm not, I don't care how busy I am, bro. I know y'all, I know y'all looking forward to seeing the videos and, and all that. And that's cool, that's motivating me. You know what I'm saying? Especially when y'all comment. So comment below now, man. PP Gang, we here. You already know. Tap in, tap in with your boy. Tap in with your boy, cause we here. PB Gang, man. Y'all already know what it is. We here, PBG, man. PBG, you know, as a matter of fact, if y'all here, man, tap in right now, PBG, man. PBG, we here, bro. PBG, we here, man. You know what I'm saying? Also, make sure y'all follow my Instagram. Go to Instagram right now. Y'all can pause this video, go right now to Instagram. Make sure y'all follow me on IG, man. Right now, let's do it. Follow me on IG. I got a lot of stuff over there I'll be doing too. Skits, all that. You know what I'm saying? TikTok as well. TikTok Poppy Blasted. That's my TikTok. Alright y'all, so look, the importance of combing is to break forks, to move them to the hairline, you know what I'm saying, to uh, pretty much to confuse your hair, because if you guys didn't know, confusing your hair, it really makes you progress. Confusing your hair really makes you progress. You, it's crazy to think that, right? To know, Confusing your hair <laughs> will make you progress. I don't know, man, like, if you're doing the same thing over and over and over, Sometimes you gotta switch it up, you feel me? Like, you don't wanna do the same thing over and over. Like, so if you comb every day, I say about for like two months, don't comb every day after that. So you're confusing your hair, you know what I mean? Cause you, your hair, it's like your body, how your body get used to, like you working out, right? And your body get used to that muscle memory every time. You know what I'm saying? You're doing the same stuff, you're not doing nothing to change it up. You're gonna stay at, you're gonna stay at that threshold, so you're gonna stay What's it called? You're gonna stay level pretty much, stay at that spot. You're not gonna progress more. You know what I'm saying? So we the level the, the, the goal is is to keep progressing. So what you gotta do, change up that workout. Do more to progress to get past that um that um plateau. You feel me? To get past that plateau. That's what it is. So the same thing with waving though. You're doing the same thing over and over. Not saying to change your angles or nothing. If it ain't working for you, change your angles up. That's the thing. You gotta you gotta take time. It takes time. You gotta figure out what works for you. I could tell you this over and over. I could tell you some over and over and it might work for me, but it might not work for you. But the basic stuff gonna work for you. The goal, my goal is, is to, to teach you how to do stuff, to teach you how to get the best waves that's possible for your head, for the, the angles for your head, you know what I mean? You going based off what I'm doing, but you figuring out, oh, half of this work for me, but the other half I'm doing, I'm putting a twist on my little stuff to make it work for me. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm doing what I'm doing for you, and it's some stuff I'm, just, I'm that I'm saying is working for you, but I started you off with the guy. You feel me? It's like kickstart. I'm the kickstart. You, you the finisher. So you gotta add your extras to what I'm giving you, the tips I'm giving you. Finish. You know what I'm saying? What you to, to finish your goals. You know what I'm saying? To get to your goal, pretty much. To get to your goal. So yeah, with the combing part, man. Combing is very important, bro. I comb. 
like I said, I come uh, twice a week, but it's because I'm already progressed. I'm already like, you know what I mean? I'm already at that level where I could do that. You know what I mean? But as far as like, uh, with your crown, you see I got a double crown. Y'all see my other crown right here. That's why I always gotta keep this thick right here. This crown, always, I always keep this part thick when I get in the haircut. You know what I'm saying? Because if I cut it with the same length as the rest of my hair, this part right here, I promise you, this part right here is gonna be, you gonna, it's gonna be exposed. You're gonna see the other part of the crown, which you can see right now. Really, if you really look hard, you can see the crown. But, you know, that's why I keep it real thick. And I basically went with my dominant crown, which is right here. This crown is another one, but this is my dominant crown. You know, I could've choose the left crown if I wanted to, but it's too high. So it's gonna be like way offset, you know what I'm saying? So I just picked the, the right one. But, you know, combing your crown, you pretty much just going around it. And that's what really gonna make you progress with your crown is combing. Whether if you got a beehive, 360, uh, 540 uh, swirl, whatever. It's going to it's going to help you for, for sure progress. Just getting in there deep in the crown. You know what I mean? Right here. So pretty much with your with your Combing, you just combing with the grain of your, your weight pattern, same like brushing. But see, now we go against the grain, see? And that's confusing your hair too. Remember I told you about confusing it? You going against the grain. You feel me? We're gonna go against the grain. So basically, the same way you was going with the grain, with your pattern, you going the opposite way. That's what against the grain is. Or going against your wave, your wave pattern, pretty much. Uh. See what I'm saying? See how I'm doing that? See how my second crown is exposed right there? I'm gonna do another video on that too. Showing y'all like how to close a crown. You know what I'm saying? How to, how to close, if you got a double crown, how to close it. I did a video on that before a while ago too, but I'll do it again though. Basically how to, you know, close that crown. You know what I mean? Close the second one, cause yeah, it's definitely ways to do it. And that, it's harder too when you got two crowns, bro. I'm telling you, imagine having to deal, go deal with two crowns. That's crazy, right? So then you're going back with the grain. After you went against the grain, you're going back with the grain. You know what I mean? This is going to help you break your forks. This is going to help you break them. It's going to help you move them. The forks pretty much do what it want to do, man. If it decides, if it decided what to move, it's go move. If it decided what to break, it's go break. It's crazy, man. Your hair is crazy. This is why you gotta really pay attention to how your hair is growing. And this is why, as I tell you, it's important to comb in the mirror. Use a mirror, bro. Use a mirror all the time. So that way, you know exactly what you're doing. You know your angles. You're looking at everything, how your hair grow. You're looking at all that. Hair dirty, that's why I'm about to wash the style too. I'm gonna do a video on the wash and style, the wash and style method too. How you wash and style your 360 waves too as well with the tie-dye bar. You know what I'm saying? With the tie-dye bar, of course, man. Y'all know tie-dye bar, bro. Y'all know about that? You sleep. People to go merch.com. Get it. Woo! Smells so good. Anyways, man, I'm gonna do a video on that too. How to wash the style your waves in 2020, <clears throat> 2022 using the tie-dye bar. Legendary tie-dye bar. Fire, bro. All I use is that bar to wash my hair. You know what I'm saying? But um Yeah, now you're going with the grain. Also, my kids, man, they getting back right too. They stopped for a while. You know what I'm saying? They were walking curls for like months. And then I, they decided they wanted to come back. 
know what I'm saying? So I'm brushing back their hair, you know what I'm saying, again, too. So that's why I'm staying busy. Uh, I let them brush their hair for a while by themselves, man. They had too many for us, bro. I'm like, man, I know it's trial and error, but damn, I can't let y'all just go out like that. I was disappointed. I'm like, disappointed, but at the same time, I'm happy they, you know, they trying. But it's just, it's hard for these kids, man. They, But they got to learn, though. You know what I'm saying? So I really let them brush their own hairs most of the time. I say half and half, but I'm always washing style in the hair because washing styling is very important. Brushing is important, but washing and styling, you're molding your hair. So when you rinse your hair out with that soap in your hair, yeah, it's gonna, it's, you gonna, you can progress or you can lose progress because your hair is not in place. You see what I'm saying? So if they, they, they doing that, they messing up their hair. So I'm making sure that I, I, I um, do that myself. I use the shampoo and all that. I put everything in their hair and I wash the style for them. But for the most part, they're brushing their own hair though. But yeah, that's how I comb my hair, man. That's how you break your forks. After that, you pretty much use your hard brush, your medium brush, your soft brush. Y'all know we're using the flawless brushes, man. You know, we're doing that. Make sure you guys like the video right now. Like the video right now, man. PB Game, where y'all at? Like the video. Y'all know that that's gonna make the algorithm boost it up. Cause we trying to get recommended everywhere, man. When we back, you feel me? So. Now to help us out, you know what I mean? So like the video right now. Make sure if you're new to it into the channel, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for joining the gang, man. Join the gang right now. Make sure you guys also hit the uh, notification bell, highlight it, so that way you won't miss out on none of my videos I drop, all right? For real. We about to get, I'm about to finish my brush session. Lay these things back down. Get, get you know, get cracking with the day. I love you guys. Uh, <clears throat> let me know what other videos y'all wanna see. I already got something, I already got some in mind though. Like I said, I already got a lot in mind. I got a lot in mind, a lot of videos in mind. But see, a lot of my videos, it's incorporating my products because also all I use is my products. So I'm excited to show y'all what's going on, the methods I do, the new stuff I'm doing now, 2022. All right, I'm using my stuff, you feel me? Also, don't forget, y'all didn't know, man, we bringing back Summer Vibes. Go your Summer Vibes, man, with the OG labels. Y'all know about these, man. These is the OG labels, y'all know. OG PB gang know. We bring this back every summer. Same formula, same formula, which is the moisturizer, you know what I'm saying, the butter. Hmm. Different scent though. This is these scents right here is exclusive. Uh, I had um put up put up a poll on Instagram asking you guys what type of scents and stuff y'all wanted. Y'all wanted those scents, y'all choose those scents, y'all voted those scents. So it's only right for me to let me in to go with those scents. So those will be available, those two, the Summer Vibes 2022, will be available Thursday, June 30th at 3 o'clock p.m. on the West Coast. That's Pacific Time. And that's 5 o'clock Central Time, 6 o'clock on the East Coast. That's Thursday, June 30th. The Summer Vibes, Go Your Summer Vibes 2022 will be available at peopletogomerch.com. Don't forget, mark your calendars. Put that shit on the speed. Whatever you got to do, man. Speed down, put the calories, you feel me? Hey, whatever, man. Put them shits on you. Whatever, whatever you got to do to remember, okay? Don't forget. Because it's going to be sold out. It's, and it's a limited edition. It's limited time only, you feel me? Because I don't want y'all to miss out. I want y'all to just experience the greatness, okay? People to go merch.com. Y'all see the website. Get all your merch. Get your hair care. Because it's all there. I love you guys, man. <clears throat> you already know. If you're great. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They gon' hate. Ha! Yeah! Cut the camera, nigga. If you're great, they gon' hate. They gon' hate. Yeah! Okay.